Hey guys, what's up? Random Ginger Eleven here, and today, uh, what you're seeing or what you're going to be seeing in this episode is kind of a sneak peek of a wipeout course that I've actually been making in Minecraft on the Scotland server. Um, I haven't made a video in a while, so I figured I should probably just get one out there. Um, but this is probably what the course is going to look like, um, unless maybe maybe if somebody gives me a good idea or something like that, I'll add it in. Um, but for now, this is what I plan to give out as the final course. So, um, oh, I guess I'll just show you all the components of the course first. So, we'll flip this on. Water slide to go down. Um, I'm not going to actually do all the obstacles right now, just so I can show you them right there. And here, you're going to see that you would have to double jump. Actually, I'll turn on this. Let me turn on the uh, volume of these things. There we go. Okay, so you would have to jump across these. I'm I'm never good at these. <laughs> I always I make games and I'm never very good at them. Oh, I make it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's how you do those. And then this one right here, if you've ever watched a wipeout, uh, you've probably seen where they'll have a big wall, and then they'll be like punching gloves that come out and hit the people off. Um, I couldn't really make it um, that well <laughs> like they do in the show. But this is basically the same thing. And each of these are on a timer. You'll see they're at regular intervals. Um, just kind of each of them go off randomly. So it's not too difficult to get through. You can kind of time when each one's going. You know, just go like in front of one. Right when it retracts, go to the next one. Right when it retracts, go to the next one. So that's how that works. Um, then next, I've just got some more kind of parkour stuff, but with ice. So it's a little trickier. Next one, you just kind of got to weave through this water course. This is not the prettiest looking element, but um, that's alright. Um, next, you come up to right here. These are, like, if you've ever watched Wipeout, um, this is kind of the staple of the series. It's like, just in, in the show, they're just giant red balls, and they're all slippery and everything. Um, <laughs> but here, I mean, got them as circular as I could. And there's I put some notches in here so you can jump a little better. Might take those out. I'm not really sure. Um, but you just kind of got to jump from one to the next, so that's not too difficult. And then next, kind of as the finale, this is like a blob. I've seen it in a couple episodes of Wipeout. Um, and I'll just show you it really quick here. You stand on the red, push the button, and hit a TNT light, and then it'll launch you. And I try to get it kind of a, uh, if you've ever been on an actual blob, which they're awesome if you haven't. Oh, somebody just changed the time. Who else is on? I don't think I know many of those people. Okay, but the blob kind of goes in an arch like I just was in, so I could have made it go farther, you know. Um, but I decided it wasn't that important, and I would try to have it look like an actual blob. And then to reload it, you just come down here, put TNT. That's kind of a, I kind of found a, um, I shouldn't say found, I kind of rediscovered because someone else has probably found it too, um, a property of trap doors when they're open like this where the hitbox is small enough so that you can, um, like, uh, reach through, you know, and do stuff on the other side. But the TNT, like, when I was doing this with, say, like, fence gates, so they would be kind of the same thing, but the TNT would just fall straight through or other things too that have a small hitbox but that you can still reach through. Um, the TNT kept falling through but for some reason with these um, the TNT senses it as a whole block underneath so it acts uh, just like it normally would with blocks except for you can reach under so it's a lot easier to reload. So um, yeah I uh, that's that's really all there is to it right now. If you guys have some more ideas for elements uh, post them in the comments um, that I'd be, I'm very open to ideas. Um, yeah. So, I got, the reason that I haven't been posting a lot of videos is, one, because of the holidays. Um, so, I, you know, I've just had stuff going on. But, also, I've, I got into Skyrim again a little bit, so that's been fun. But, um, one of my friends is starting a Feed the Beast server, and I'm not, I'm not saying, like, this is going to be an open server or anything. I'm not, this isn't an invitation to the server. Um, 
but I've been trying to learn Feed the Beast a little bit, because if you guys have ever played that, that is super confusing. Like, there is so much, because I, I've never really played um, much but vanilla Minecraft before. So, finally working with mods for the first time, um, yeah, it, it gets pretty confusing. Um, but if you guys would like to see any of that stuff, um, like, say you would like to see kind of a Let's Play type thing, I mean, if you guys want to see that, I'm more than willing to do a series like that. Um, I know I've kind of made this channel a red zone thing, but I'm open to whatever. So um, just let me know what you guys think of that. Um, if that is not, if that's not something you guys want to see, totally fine. I'll just keep doing red zone. But I want to do what you guys want. Um, so just uh, let me know, post in the comments, and uh, yeah, I uh, I think that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. Um, if you liked it, be sure to click the like button. Uh, if you want to see more of this, or possibly, um, if you guys wanted, uh, Feed the Beast Let's Play. Um, and that Let's Play will probably be, like, me learning it at the same time that I'm doing it. So it, it might serve as a little bit of a uh, teaching tool, too, if you guys are wanted to get into Feed the Beast at all. So, yeah, like this uh, video if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to see some more. And uh, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and have a great day, and Merry Christmas.